This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at Haystack. Haystack is an open source framework for building search systems uh, that works intelligently over large document collections. Okay, so it's an open source framework and it has various features like uh, NLP for search. Uh, so there are components for retrieval, question answering, re-ranking. It uses trans uh, transformer based models, right? It has flexible databases, so you can store documents into an Elasticsearch or a SQL engine or a SQL database. It has scalability, it can handle millions of documents and deploy them via REST API. It also has a certain domain adaptation tools like you can do annotation, uh, you can collect user feedback, evaluate components and fine tune models. Okay. The key idea is there is an indexing pipeline which takes as input your text files. Um, there is a file converter and a preprocessor and then the documents are stored in a document store. And then you have the search pipeline which consists of a retriever, a reader, generator and an answer. Okay. So let's go to a demo of Haystack and then we'll see the components as and when required. We'll come to that. Okay. So for this demo, I'm making use of mimic data that is clinical radiology reports. Okay, so how can we build a search engine on top of the clinical radiology reports? That is what I'm trying to explain along with a question answering pipeline. Okay, so I create a folder over here called mimic data. I have zipped close to 18,000 uh, documents over here and uh, I'm unzipping those documents and storing them in this particular folder. Okay, so that that is what happens over here in this piece of code, right? And for uh, example, a sample radiology report looks like this. This is the text which is present in a sample radiology report. Okay, so this is how the radiology report looks like. So this is a CT abdomen report and uh, you know some impressions and final report is present over here. Okay, so all the documents in this particular folder follow a similar format. Fine. Now we'll go to uh, the things which we need to do to install Haystack. Okay, so these are uh, commands to install Haystack. Okay. So once you do that, um, you also need to restart the runtime, which I did. Okay. Then there is some logging, which needs to be done. Okay. Then what we do is that uh, from Haystack, we import some utils like clean wiki text. I'll come to that why this is required. Uh, convert files to docs. I'm not using fetch archive uh, print answers, right? Then from Haystack nodes, I import some farm reader and transformer reader. Okay. So for Haystack, you would require an Elasticsearch as a document store. Okay. So you can also have other document stores, but in Collab, you need to install Elasticsearch, uh, download it, install, and then you need to start the Elasticsearch instance. This is what is happening over here. Okay. Uh, then what happens is that we need to import the Elasticsearch document store from Haystack.documentStores and we create a document store over here. Okay, so this is your document store. Now, what we do is that our document directory is our documents are present in mimic data. What happens over here is that it converts files to docs. Okay, basically this part of the pipeline over here is what is happening now the indexing pipeline. So what it does over here is that convert files to docs, we give the path of our uh, document directory and we have to pass some function for cleaning of text. Actually, this clean wiki text is a function which is available in there um, in Haystack. But if you want your own function, you can write it. I just wanted to try with this function. So I did not do, do this. And this is a paragraph splitting. Okay. So this function can, um, you know, clean some uh, remove headers or footers and things like that. Right. So this is where the document conversion happens. And then what you do is that if you go to the next uh, this thing, uh, you can print a document and the document looks like this, right? This is one of the documents. So every document will have something called as a, um, a document ID and other these things. There are some meta information also over here. So every document will have content type, a score, right? A name. Um, and then you have an embedding uh, is none and then an ID of this particular document. So th these documents are now stored into the document store. So basically into Elasticsearch. Okay. Now comes our task of what do we want to do? All right. So we want to actually import a, a retriever, right? So we import a retriever. Okay. So this retriever, what is a retriever? All right. So in Haystack, you have something called as a retriever. So retriever performs document retrieval by sweeping through a document store and returning a set of candidate documents that are relevant to the query. 
So there are different ways of doing it. You have BM25, which is an algorithm. You have elastic search retriever. You have embedding retriever. You have TF-IDF retriever. So the retriever's job is it sweeps all through the document store and returns a set of candidate documents that are relevant to the query, which is what I'm doing over here, right? Then for uh, question answering, you require a reader. Now, what is a reader? Okay, this is another concept. So reader takes a question and a set of documents as input and returns an answer by selecting a text span within the documents. The reader is also known as an open domain question answering system in machine learning speak. So this reader is nothing but a class um, object for or a class for re, uh, you know performing question answering. Okay. By default, the model is Roberta base core two, which has been trained on that. Okay. So a reader is instantiated over here. Retriever returns the set of relevant documents. Reader goes into that and returns the span for the question and it's for question answering, right? So what you can do is that from Haystack, you can imp uh, import an extractive question answering pipeline. Okay. So you can create an extractive questioning pipeline with the reader and the retriever, which you have instantiated before. And you can run your query like this. For example, I am running a query on, I want to retrieve lung cancer basically. And for the retriever, I want the top 10 uh, documents. Okay. Top 10 relevant documents. And for the reader, I only want the top five uh, answers, right? So that is the idea. I do prediction is equal to pipe dot run. When I do this, uh, inference is done and I can print the answers, right? So in prediction, you have these answers. So if I go to prediction object and I print, you can print the answers like this. It shows like this. Okay. These are the answers. These are the documents which have been, uh, you know, which are uh, basically relevant to this particular query lung cancer. Right. The answers are this. It says that uh, if you look at the first file over here, it will say that a 77 year old man with lung prostate cancer. OK. Now, if you go to this answer, if you see it is, uh, you know, the context is there. There is a score which is provided. OK. The type is extractive, extractive question answering. The score is uh, this is the score. The context is it pulls that particular context. OK. Then offsets in the document where it is starting, where it is ending. Right and the document ID. Okay. So it returns this actually the prediction returns much more than this. It returns a JSON object with some other uh, fields as well, but I am just showing you the answers over here. Okay. So this was the question answering demo using Haystack and this is an extractive question answering pipeline. Okay. The important concepts are the reader and retriever. Okay. So the reader is like your question answering uh, no, pipeline, right? So the reader is takes a question and set of documents as input and returns an answer. Whereas the retriever uh, looks through the entire document stores and returns a set of candidate documents that are relevant to the query using different methods. Like it could be TF IDF based relevance. It could be BM 25 based relevance. Okay. So that's the idea over here, right? Reader and retriever. Okay. So now let's go to another example of a search this thing. Okay. So for that, what we do is that from haystack dot pipelines, we import a document search pipeline. Okay. And to the pipeline, we instantiate with the same retriever as earlier. We create a query, right? Uh, the query is I want to retrieve all documents where there is a mention of brain, uh, the keyword brain and the top 10 documents is what I'm returning. Okay. So I can do result is equal to pipeline dot run. I can pass the query and I can pass the parameters as retriever. For the retriever, basically, I want the top 10 documents. Okay. And I can print these documents using utils from haystack.utils, print documents, and I can print the documents. If I print the documents, I can say what amount of text needs to be printed, right? And print the name and uh, meta information also. So it prints like this, right? In one of the documents, there is this uh, thallium scan for tumor, brain, something is there. So it kind of prints like this, okay? You can also convert it into a dictionary like this and print the documents. Here you can clearly see that this is related to brain. The allium scan for tumor, the brain keyword is there. Okay. If you go down to the next document uh, over here, uh, you can also see uh, the next document is over here. Here also you can see the mention of uh, brain in the document. Okay. So brain metastasis, things like that. So in this way, you can actually retrieve the documents. So what is the use case over here? The use case is that suppose if you have a huge data set, right, with a lot of files and you want to build a search engine on top of it, or you want to build a question answering pipeline on top of it. Okay. You can actually uh, try this 
ready-made pipelines from Haystack. Or you can actually fine tune your model and also make use of it within Haystack, right? So you have this extractive uh, question answering pipeline, uh, you have document search pipeline, you have generative question answering pipeline, you have search summarization pipeline and lot of other things over here. So this is just a very high level demo of Haystack. There are so many other features which can be explored. So if you are interested, you can go to this web page. I'll put the link of this in the description of the video. They also have a tutorial for creating your own first question answering model, right? So they have their own um, tutorial as well. So you can actually try out that tutorial as well. So I have taken this code from that tutorial only and modified it a little bit. So you can check out that tutorials as well. I hope this video on Haystack is useful for you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.